I'm Nathan Epstein. A lot of football to get to, and we'll start off at Old Dominion. The Monarchs now bowl eligible for the first time in program history, now looking for a win tonight against a strong Southern Miss team. Brian Parsons was there and joins us with the game recap. The surging Old Dominion Monarchs trying to make a statement win against a storied Southern Mississippi team. It's starting quarterback Nick Mullins, the Conference USA Player of the Year, out with a concussion. Coach Jay Hobson forced to burn backup Keon Howard's red shirt. And it was a tough game for the freshman. TJ Ricks comes up with the loose ball that led to an ODU touchdown. Next Southern Miss possession, and it's going to be another fumble. This time, Ricks not only forces the fumble, but he recovers it as well, and that led to another ODU score to make it 14 to nothing. Next Southern Miss possession, and another turnover. Brandon Addison comes up with the interception. ODU forced five turnovers to tie a school record. Offensively, ODU was efficient, if anything. David Washington to Jonathan Duhart. Quarter of the end zone, and that made it 28 to seven Monarchs. The points piling up for ODU, still in the second quarter. Washington with time, and he unloads a 39-yard bomb to a wide-open Travis Fulgham. ODU led 42 to seven at one point, and the Monarchs hold on for the 51 to 35 win. Anthony Wilson and TJ Ricks, two former walk-ons, combined for 28 tackles as ODU picks up win number seven. It's all about the turnovers. We took the ball away five times. We didn't turn the ball over. That's been the key to our success this year. We're one of the best teams in the nation in turnover margin, and we needed that today. In my five years being here, this is the first time I've seen you know a defense play like this. Uh, five turnovers in the first half, three of them in the first um, in the first quarter. It's, it's, it's great playing with this defense. They definitely won this game for us today. Next up, ODU hits the road for a road game against Florida Atlantic. The Monarchs with a serious shot at a 10-win season. In Norfolk, Brian Parsons for the Sports Wrap. Thanks a lot, Brian.